I don't know where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost Hi guys, um, welcome to this new video. Let me slouch down so you can see me. Come on, let me just get Tommy out of that shot because he has no clothes on. He has a nappy on, but he has no clothes on, does he? Um, just trying to get uh, this little one down for a nap. Um, it's Friday today. You'd have just seen the clip of me, or like a time lapse of me having my listening appointment. Um, but anyways, before we get into it, welcome to this weekly vlog. Well, I'm aiming for it to be a weekly vlog. Um, so welcome. I'm trying to make it a bit different because sometimes I think the day and the lives are a bit... I don't really like, do that much all the time. So sometimes I think maybe the weekly vlogs are a bit better. So I'm trying it out. So, hello. <laughs> You're looking at mummy funny because she's talking to a camera. Um, so... If you are new here, please do consider subscribing to my channel. You can just do it underneath the video. Um, I do all things uh, pregnancy, motherhood, toddlerhood, hauls, vintage hauls, beauty, product reviews off my own back, not paid or sponsored or anything. Um, so yeah, if that's your cup of tea, please do consider subscribing. Um, I obviously have a newborn and he is going to be nine or ten weeks can't remember that's really bad isn't it and i have a nearly three year old um so it's all systems go here at the moment the three year old time he's just watching a bit of telly at the moment whilst i try and get this one off to sleep and then i can hopefully put him down um but today is pretty much a stay at home day um like i said you'd have just seen my like listening service appointment time lapse um in all honesty it was a bit shit um i didn't really get anything from it they couldn't find the notes from the bit i actually wanted them for um which was like 12 until 4 she couldn't find them um so that was a little bit annoying um so yeah i didn't find it particularly helpful um today i do need to chase where my notes are because i have requested to have them um, so that was yesterday and then today we're just having a stay at home day really um, we've got quite a busy weekend yeah. so we're just having a stay at home day today just to chill out we're gonna go out for a little family walk later when Adam finishes work um, so yeah we're just gonna chill this morning maybe go and play in the garden and then yeah and then we've got, like I said, we've got a busy weekend, so tomorrow, which will be Saturday, we are going to my granddad's house. I say it's my granddad's, he is dead, but um, that's going through being sold, so we just need to, like, get the few bits out and, and tidy up the house, ready for it to be sold. And then, what are we doing Sunday? Sunday, we are going to a day out with Thomas. 
so I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put that in this vlog or do like a separate vlog I'm not really sure I will decide closer to the time um, so that's gonna be fun um, but yeah it's a busy one so we just thought we'd chill out today plus I have to stay in this will be so embarrassing if I don't get it um, but I have applied for I say a job it technically is a job but I've applied for a position within um, the hospital it's not I'm not leaving my like old job um, so it, it's just a like neonatal type thing I'll talk to you more about it if I get it this would be so embarrassing if I don't get it <laughs> You alright, darling? You okay? Um, but yeah, I've got to be in because I've got to have like the informal interview for that. So yeah, that's why I'm also staying in. I will give you more information if I get the job. If I don't, then it is basically irrelevant anyway. So we'll go more into that if I get it. But hopefully, I do. Um, it's only a year thing um, and it's only like two days a month so it's not like really taking me away from the kids loads so that's really good as well um, but yeah like I said if I get it we'll go more into it um, so yeah that's that's pretty much our day I will film whatever we, we do and share it with you but yeah I'm not sure what to do about Thomas now. Will it have enough for its own vlog? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe I will put it in this one. Yeah, it is part of the week, so yeah. So it's this weekly vlog is starting on a Thursday, so I'm going to take you right through to obviously like next Thursday. Um. So yeah. Hopefully you will enjoy this video it like i said if you do please do consider subscribing giving it a like and a comment um and then maybe maybe later actually i wanted to um show you some bits that i've picked up from tesco's um like for um baby boy and i'm sure they're still upstairs yes and i'm going to film a vintage haul later my last vintage haul are you okay sweetheart yeah. I'm going to film my last vintage haul because I'll have makeup on after my interview. So when the boys go to bed, well when Tommy goes to bed, I'll um, give Oxley to Adam and then I will quickly go and film my last vintage haul because then I can put those bits away as well. So I'll probably show you the bits from Tesco's as well. That makes more sense. Um, so yeah, I will catch up with you guys a bit later and um, obviously I'll insert any footage from the day if I have any. If not, then it'll probably be just me showing you the Tesco bits. Um, and he's already asleep, so clearly I bore him. Thanks, hon. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait till he gets into a deep sleep and then I'm going to pop him in his sleepy head. Um, and I have a little play with Tommy. Um, I think he wants me to read him a book, so I'm gonna go. And I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Bye guys. Have you felt like you were out of breath, breath oh, when you saw her in the dress? What does a dinosaur do? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, and you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Thank you. I would jump on and show you the Tesco bits I'd purchased um, quite recently. Apologies for the lack of content through the day. Um, honestly, between these two boys, it's been a shitter of a day. Um, tried to get Tommy out in the garden um, and like running around and he just wasn't having any of it. Any time I tried to take him out, he would just come back in. I said, do you like, does he want to go for a walk? And he was just like, no. Um, he had like a two and a half hour nap, I think. 
so he must have been tired um but yeah he's just he redeemed himself in the evening because he was really really cute but you know he just like i know you don't like being cooped up um but you were out all weekend as well so i just didn't want to add today into the mix and obviously we would i wanted to try and get him outside and he was just like no so yeah it was a bit rubbish <laughs> but yeah tomorrow's a new day it's absolutely fine um just proves that some days they just don't want to do anything really and you just gotta to listen to them but yeah i always like want to try and do something with him but yeah today just didn't work out and i try not to beat myself up too much about it but we move you're here to see the tesco stuff that i got um well in this part of the video anyway um so i have got a few bits they're all a bit of a mixture really from um either a bedford tesco's or the kinks and tesco's in milton Keynes. but obviously socks quite similar everywhere so if you like any of this stuff it's more than likely it's going to be in your tesco's as well i'm trying to remember where i got this these ones from actually mm. i can't remember but each of these are from one of those Tesco's so there's no sort of rhyme or reason I'm just going to show you mixtures um because it's a mixture of sale and full price so I'm just going to show you the the bits um so I picked up this cardigan for um for Oxley so this isn't up to three months it actually looks massive for up to three months um but I've also picked this up in three to six months ready for um like autumn winter time but I thought this is just great just to um, throw over if he's got like a baby girl on or he's a bit cold. Um, I can just sort of throw this over the top or like pop it over with some nice like jeggings or leggings or something. Um, so this was £8 and it was reduced to 5 So like I said, I picked up two sizes, as you do. Um, so love that. And um, this was also in the sale. It's this cute little outfit. So we're going on a UK like holiday with my in-laws and like my sister-in-law and brother-in-law um in a couple of weeks maybe a couple of weeks um so i just wanted to, to like get him a couple of summer outfits i didn't get many this is one of them um he has got quite a few in his wardrobe so he doesn't actually need any more um but i just saw this and i just thought this would be like super cute um and you'll see i've got tommy something quite similar but like not the same so but they can kind of match you'll see what i mean um so it's just this page top with the black pocket and then it comes with the shorts um and because it's for a holiday in a few weeks i got it in up to three months because that is the size he's in at the moment um and this was 10 pound reduced to seven ideally i'd like it to be a bit cheaper but we move <laughs> so i picked it up anyway um but I really like that, I just thought that was really cute. If it's really warm when we're away, he can just pop that on and they can match. And I'll show you the other bit in a minute. But yeah, love that. Um, this was not sale. But I just saw this vest. It's got little lions on it. I just thought this teamed with um, some like black leggings or maybe like navy leggings would look really, really cute. So I got this in up to three months and three to six months because it was only three pounds. So I just thought that would look really, really cute, just as a little outfit. Again, that just looks massive. Like, that doesn't look like it would fit him. See there? Oh, I suppose that might be why. There, up to three months, is up to £14.5. So that might be why. A lot of not to three months is up to just £14. And this is up to 14 and a half. so that could be why. Um, so yeah, love that. And then I've got a whole bag of bits here, which I'll show you. Let's see, again, no order. <laughs> um, I'm just going to get it now. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go out. Um, so, 
these baby rows. These are full price. I actually saw these baby rows in, uh, this was a Bedford Tesco one. Um, and they really remind me of the next ones that I've actually got for Oxley. I got them off a of vintage, but I think you know which ones I mean, where it says like B is for bear and then G is for giraffe and E is for elephant. And I just thought these were like a really good dupe of that. Um, so you've got the lion one, which says, lion says raw. Um, there's like a plain grey one in the middle there. And then the zebra one on the back and it says zebras are stripy. Um, and I think obviously the next ones will be like what, between 18 and 22 pounds. And these are only 11 pounds. Um, they didn't have many sizes, they had six to nine months. And I know like from remembering some of Tommy's wardrobe, wasn't overly keen on like the three to six and six to nine wardrobe. <laughs> so I, I picked them up in six to nine and we can get those into storage. So that would be really, really good. Um, and then I saw these and just fell in love with them. Um, so they're like two packs of linen trousers. So I have these in nine to 12 and I also have them in, I can't remember if I got them in three to six 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 to nine anyways so it could be a bit out of season but i can just sell them on if he doesn't wear them so it's absolutely fine um but they are two packs of linen trousers one like navy and then you've got this like beige color and um, these were reduced from 12 down to eight so not like a massive saving but i thought again these paired with like maybe a small business t-shirt from like tailor made or oh where else do I get them from I only really like tailor made at the moment so yeah I would love to get a really nice like t-shirt made for him to go with these for next summer so these will be going into storage and again I just think this is the best way to do things like stocking up now whilst they're in the sale and out of season rather than getting it when it's all like new season because Let's be fair, cost of living and prices are just ridiculous right now. Um, she says having bought full price stuff, but anyways. <laughs> this is the top and short set that I just said about matching Tommy with Oxley. This is from the toddler range. They didn't have one where I could match, which was most annoying. Um, but I saw this and just fell in love. It's very my vibe, as you can see. Um, so this was full price but it was nine pounds and i just thought for our holiday that would be so nice and then tommy can wear this one and oxley can wear his like beige with black shorts and they kind of match so i just thought they were really really cute um and again i'm trying to be really oh you hear my stomach rumbling i'm trying to be really mindful when i'm purchasing especially like stuff for tommy now because obviously it's going to get like two wears out of it and i just think like i was so in love with this so i have to like think i love it now am i going to love it again when oxley fits into it so yes i will so solid solid yes for me and then i i blame is it oh god is it what's it called the instagram page hang on it's either wear it with Frank or Frank's outfits. Hang on a minute. Frank's outfits, there we go. Um, if you don't follow Frank's outfits, you must because the outfit in Spo is just, whew. Um, But obviously his mum shared these items on um, Instagram and I was like, oh, okay. Um, you know I love the zip up like footless baby rows. So they have these in this, these designs, but they didn't have them when I went. So I'm gonna have to go back and have a look. Um, Cause I'm lo I love them. Like I have them in not three. There's some up there literally just looking at me in Oxley's like next few day outfit plans. Um, I have some in like three to six months and some in six to nine months, possibly. If I don't have them in six to nine months, I need to get them um, but I will be in this design in them when I find them um, but she did share these as well and I was just like oh my god what my vibe and um, so it's just this three pack of vests with 
the stripy one, the darker brown there and like the nude at the back and it came with matching trousers so yeah it happened. Um, I didn't get them in 0-3 because he's literally got so much in 0-3, his wardrobe is literally just here and I mean I'll show you probably after I filmed this clip, I, I'll show you and you'll understand why I didn't buy it in 0-3. Um, so I picked them up in three to six months and then I picked them up in six to nine months because that's going to be the season. He's going to be three months, well, in August, but he'll be six months in November so it kind of goes nicely and then he'll be six months in November through to like January, February, maybe nine months, yeah. So I picked these up as well. I mean, they just look ginormous. Like, the thought of him fitting into this like literally makes me want to cry. Um, but yeah, I just love these. I thought they were so nice. So the vests, totally needed for it to say the price. The vests for a pack of three are eight pounds, which I think is really reasonable. Um, and the pack of three trousers were seven pounds. Again, very reasonable for six outfits. Six outfits. Six items. It's 15 pounds so that's not too bad um i usually wait for the club card 25 percent off but i have been burnt a little bit recently where i wait i go back it's not there <laughs> in the size i want so i was just like mm, okay let's buy it um so hopefully when i find the baby grows there'll be an event which would be just a dream um i'll pop on screen like now the baby rose I mean I've screenshotted them so I'll put them up um and so you know what I'm actually referring to <laughs> um, but that's my quick little sort of what I've purchased from Tesco's as part of this weekly vlog um I hope you liked it definitely go and check out your Tesco's they've got some really good sales on at the minute and their new season is like so amazing it's like proper Zara vibes at the minute um so definitely go and check them out um, I'm quite lucky with the Kingston one, it's really really good because um, it's massive. So yeah, definitely go and check out your local Tesco's or a bigger Tesco's near you. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed those pieces. My favourite is definitely the last bits I showed you with the vests and the trousers. Just so my vibe. Um, as promised, I will quickly show you his wardrobe. So bearing in mind, this is basically all not to three, do excuse the state of it. I do try and keep it in working order, but it's a bit full. So yeah, yeah, it's a bit full, but we move. Um, so yeah, that's his <laughs> just not to three <laughs> there. So we've got like summery bit, sleep suits, warmer sleep suits. And then we've got his holiday bits down here that I'm just keeping to like one side to pack for holiday. Dungarees, like long sleeve tops, dungarees, outfit and like knitwear down here. So yeah, I have a problem. That was my stomach. Um, yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> a lot of that is from having Tommy, just saying. Some of it is new, some of it's vintage, but we move. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go and I'll catch up with you tomorrow, which is Saturday. Um, so you probably won't see a lot of me tomorrow because I plan on having a new makeup on. I plan on, um, I'm washing my hair tomorrow night, ready for a day out Sunday. Um, tomorrow we're um, clearing out my granddad's house because um, it's going to be sold so it's a lot of like manual stuff that we'll be doing so I'll probably just whack in some footage of the kids um, and what we're getting up to so there will probably won't be too much um, I do need to take a picture of like Oxley's name and his outfit with his name on ready to announce that because he's 10 weeks old and I still haven't announced his name to Instagram which I know is not that important but probably need to do it um so yeah probably won't be much going on tomorrow but yeah 
I will pop some footage in um, and then I think I think I'm going to put the Thomas day out in this vlog because I think there's probably not enough for it to be its own vlog to be honest so I'll just film some clips of us out on that day um, and then I'll include it in this vlog so yeah I'll be sharing the day out with Thomas on my Instagram as well so if you want to book a ticket it would have gone by the time you've seen this but I will have shared it on my Instagram so yes I'm gonna go because I have to film a vintage haul my last vintage haul my part three and I have to put away the mound of washing that's staring at me in here because this room is a tip and we need to stop making it a tip um so yeah whilst Oxley's asleep downstairs Tommy's in bed down the hall I'm gonna film my video and crack on with trying to tidy up in here so wish me luck and I will catch up with you guys either tomorrow or on Sunday but we'll catch up at some point again in this vlog obviously so bye guys
like To hold his hand when he tells you that you're all he wants And it's midnight, oh I'm thinking about him I have got him on my mind But he doesn't know my name And I'm running out of time I wish he felt the same And I'm acting stupid like every day Don't know what to do or what I should say My feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it there's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are
Tuesday. Um, welcome back to an, a bit more of this vlog. Um, I have to apologise because there obviously has been a couple of days missing so it's not like a full weekly vlog but I think it'll be okay because I think I've got enough content to, to still do it. Um, so obviously you would have seen I've put in a little bit that says about Saturday we were literally just clearing out my granddad's house um, and then we came back, Tommy had a nap and then we had dinner and then he had a bath and went to bed so it re he really didn't miss much I want to done some cleaning whilst he was asleep because he was asleep and Oxley was asleep at the exact same time so I was like right let me get on with some housework um, so I did just that um, and then yesterday was such a write off because um, we well we went to toddler group as we usually would on a Monday and he was excited to go Tommy was so excited to go he was absolutely fine and then we got there and he just didn't see himself like literally as soon as I got out of the car he, he was just like just didn't see himself and I was like well we'll still try it we're here let's go um actually it probably wasn't even when we got out of the car he seemed fine when we got out of the car we walked in and he played for about 10 minutes like as he usually would and then he just would like stumble and then you know he'd be a bit clumsy and that usually means he's tired so I was like are you tired and he was like no and um he was like really really clingy so when he came over I, I gave him some juice and I did give him his dummy and when he came to me I was like oh my god he's so hot um and then he carried on for a little bit after he'd had some juice um and then yeah we we got about halfway three quarters of the way through and he was just like mummy home now so i had to leave early i took him home um checked his temperature when we got home and it was 38.8 which was just not great um so we gave him some lunch which he didn't really eat we gave him scrambled egg and toast he ate the toast which is absolutely fine um, you know as long as something was going in and then he had a two hour and 15 minute sleep got up he seemed in good spirits but he was still really hot so he had did you have another dose of cowpaw then no we had to wait because it still been too soon um we gave him a bath because he'd had really really bad poos um so the one in the morning was like fine ish then he had one after he woke up which was not fine it was like i'm so sorry for the tmi but you know real life um it wasn't like full diarrhea but it was really loose so i was like mm, something's going a bit oh here um and then he was still really chirpy just still really hot and then he was stood in the hallway and i was getting some bits ready for today and literally it just sounded like someone had turned a tap on it in his bum. Um, so that one was really diarrhea. Re, that's not even a word, is it? So um, we changed him, we gave him a bath, made sure he was all clean. Um, and then we just sat and watched some TV before bedtime. So he watched a few episodes of Bluey. Um, and as he went to bed, he had a temperature of 39.5, which was not great. But he was so tired, so we just said like, we gave him some more medicine and then he went to bed and then we thought we'll see how the night goes um oxley had a feed at half eight but he threw quite a bit of it up sometimes he can be quite sicky oh darling he's having a little dream so he's like making noises um so we done like a dream feed at half ten and that saw him through to a half four which i was quite impressed with um even though we had to get up at six but yeah when we went to bed excuse me when we went to bed at half ten ish um i sent adam in whilst i was feeding oxley and just said can you go and check on tommy and he took the thermometer in not the ear one we've got another one which um we use we can, well I'm, I'm selling it because I wasn't keen on the forehead one but I just said go in and check and it's silent so he went and checked and he said it gone down to 37 so I wasn't too worried um, 
So yeah, and then we woke him up this morning because today is a nursery day. And we woke him up and his temp was still like 37.5 in one ear and in the other it was 37. So we just made the decision to still send him into nursery because um, he loves it when he's there. Um, and he's like wanting to go. So I've sent him in. If they call me and I have to go and get him, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but I thought I'd at least try um, and and see how he gets on. Um, I have told them that he had a temperature yesterday. So they may call me, they may not. I will keep you posted, obviously. Um, I feel like the worst mum sending him in, but his temperature is fine and he was fine in himself. So to me, I don't really see any reason to keep him off. Um, but if it spikes throughout the day, then they can send him home and that's absolutely fine. So, so my loose plan today is um, I'm going to my parents because I had to do nursery drop off today because Adam is away with work. So I've done nursery drop off today. I usually stay at home and come out later if I'm going out. Um, so yeah, I've done drop off and then I've come to my parents because there's no point in going home because I have to do pick up as well because we his nursery is not near where we live so yeah there's just no point going home so yeah i am gonna go to my parents oxley's drew a feed in about half an hour um i've got you know the kitchen sink in my car <laughs> um and then if tommy does not get sent home then i'm gonna go up the city around lunchtime ish maybe look for a couple of bits um i've got to, like stock up for a holiday bits like random bits like paracetamol ibuprofen for us because well, i think we're like 20 minutes half hour away from any sort of tesco's when we're there but anyways um so i'm gonna do that um adam's gonna get formula another day so that's fine um so yeah, I'm going to go up, stock up on a few last bits, minute bits for our holiday, have a wander around, um, and then, obviously, depending on Tommy, if he's still at nursery, then I'm going to go and meet my friend Emily from work, well, at work. Um, she's my friend outside of work too. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go meet her for lunch, and maybe see what she wants to do maybe pop to Sainsbury's I don't really know I just realized I forgot my card to get into work so I'm gonna have to get a visitor's pass so yeah that's fun never mind or she can just come down and meet me we'll see we will see um but I'm gonna shoot upstairs I think because he's gonna wake up in a minute um I'm just sat in my car because I think my parents will be awake. I think my mum will be awake now because she'll be starting work soon. So I'm just gonna go up in a sec. But yeah, just thought I'd catch up with you guys. Apologise for missing a couple of days, but I'm sure it's fine. I've got a lot of content, so it's fine. Um, hopefully you f think it's fine. <laughs> um, also, I'm wearing my new jumper today. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it says I wear my heart on my sleeve and um it's got the boys names there so it says tommy and oxley and this was made by my cousin um uh, you know me i've shouted about her brand so much on here before um, her brand is fabulous and fanciful um, and she's made so much for me so far she's made my pregnancy wallet um tommy's red book wallet my packing wallets she's made some key rings for me she's made tommy's um coronation top i'm gonna get her to make tommy's um birthday top i would just want something really simple for him i'm thinking like maybe a black t-shirt with some really nice calligraphy that says like three across it because we're not doing a theme this year um and i'm not doing him a party because really i'm only doing them for me um so yeah we're not doing a big party this year we'll still have people over i'm just not doing like what i done for the last couple of years because really it's more for me than it is for him and I'd rather wait and like save it and do it when he's got like school friends or he like tells me what he wants and who he wants to invite because I'm just inviting who I want to invite and that's not really what it's all about 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for him to tell me what he wants. And also, three is a really hard theme to do. Because it's not really into dinosaurs, so I can't do three wrecks. Um, I did see a really good one the other day on My Little O's stories for Oscar. She done three Esther, and I was like, oh, that is a good idea. Um, but I'm not going to do it. So yeah, I think we're going to go on a day out for him. Um, but yeah, I've digressed <laughs> into birthday mode. Um, so yeah, my cousin made me this jump up very kindly, so it was um, gifted to me. But if you want something like this, or you want anything like this, or anything personalised, then she is your girl. I am currently working on the Halloween range that I've like come up with ideas for, and she, I just provide some ideas she has the talent i didn't actually provide her with the, this idea she done this all herself so i'm very impressed um but yes i'm currently trying to get her to do that like, halloween range because she's so good but she doesn't believe in herself and i just need to give her a kick up the ass and tell her how good she is all the time and then hopefully we'll make this a success so please do go and give her a follow um i will link her page down below oh hello mister he's woken up um and place an order if you want any jumpers or any t-shirts or any folders packing wallets she is your girl um so yeah please do give her a follow down below and place an order um, i'm gonna go because my little sausage is waking up and i've been talking to you for 10 minutes um and this was only meant to be a really quick catch up so yeah i am gonna go and take him in and set up for the day because that's what I do when I go to my parents I just literally take over their house so yeah I've got so much stuff like look I've literally brought everything out with me <laughs> um so yeah I am gonna go take him in get set up so that he's ready for his food and I will catch up with you guys a bit later maybe when I'm in my parents or Maybe when I'm out, uh, who knows? But I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? Makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. Ooh, I wonder. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? Until winter comes? Happy Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday. Um, and welcome to today's instalment. Um, yesterday went a bit, you know, as kind of expected, as not expected. Tommy made it through nursery, really. He well I got a phone call, I checked on him at lunchtime and they said he was fine, his temperature was 37 and he was having a great time and then at 3 o'clock um, they rang and said well he's going a bit downhill but his temperature's still fine but he's just a little bit more subdued but we just wanted to let you know um, which was fine and at that point I'm, I'm his... yes darling, are you okay? I was at the shopping centre um, but then Oxley needed a feed, so I fed him and then made the decision that I was going to go and get Tommy. 
and then literally as I was pulling in the car park to get Tommy they rang and said his temperatures hit over 38 so could I come and get him so that worked out perfect really um he's still a bit grumpy today I haven't checked his temperature yet because we've literally like got up and come out um he doesn't feel hot do you you don't feel hot do you do you feel okay he's just kicking his mirror um but very quickly before he really kicks off what's the matter darling what's the matter we're going on a, a fun day out today we are going to cosgrove um which is quite nostalgic for me because growing up tommy what's the matter you want to get out do you want to get out No what? <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. About that, guys, I'm back. Just really quickly, I had to get Tommy out of the car because he was getting very aggy. Um, but we are actually currently at a very nostalgic place for me because um, I basically grew up here when I was younger. Um, so we're at Cosgrove Park <clears throat> now. My dad used to teach like the water sports here, so literally he'd come and pick me up from school. And then we'd come here and I'd literally be here like all afternoon and all evening basically. Um, so my mum has a friend here who has a caravan. So we've come to visit. Um, I've no idea where I'm going because it's all changed so much. But yeah, I'm just currently parked up waiting for them so I can follow them to know where her actual caravan is. Um, but yeah, it's so weird. Like literally this is my childhood. It's so weird. But to like think I can bring like the boys back and show them is mad. That's a proper like full circle moment in it really. I think my mum's Love Island book as well. Um, but yes, I'm just waiting for my mum and dad to come in so they can direct me. But yeah, it's just so weird. Like this is literally my childhood, but it's changed so much. Like, this isn't my Cosgrove, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah, fun times. A bit weird. Um, Tommy's being a little bit disruptive today, not going to lie. Obviously, love him to pieces, but he's, he's very full on today. Um, he, yeah, he's just really full on. He's, we're, my mum and dad are babysitting their friend's dog and he's just been like quite not naughty but just temperamental with it like she, he wants to cuddle the dog but he's like strangling the dog whilst trying to cuddle it and it, yeah it's just not good but anyways um he's just got a lot of energy and so i'm hoping doing like this today getting him to go on his bike and we'll go for a big walk around the lake like hopefully that will um burn off some energy and you know him being outside is good but other than that he's fine he, he's a lot better today he's got no temperature um he's saying his teeth hurt but apart from that he is fine so yeah i'm gonna catch up with you guys in a bit and i'll insert some footage after this of our day but yeah it's just very weird this is literally like me revisiting my childhood and i'm not even like through the first bit of the park yet. I'm literally at the park. I've gone past the swimming pool. So, yes. Anyways, I'm gonna go wait for my parents so that I know where I'm going and I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. guys i'm back from cosgrove um that's not my cosgrove oh it was weird <laughs> like it's great like i understand the appeal of it and, and what they've done to it but yeah it wasn't my 
childhood let's say they've they've definitely ripped that apart and blown it to smithereens as they say um i don't have tommy in my car he's in my mum and dad's car um because we all went obviously um and he wanted to go in their car so okay oh, there I only have Oxley in my car um, and he's asleep so I don't really want to disturb him too much. Um, so yeah, I've just got back. Um, I will insert the little bit of footage I took but we just had a good time. So I went on the park, rode his bike. He was a bit... Um, not a bit rough. I think that's a bit... He was a bit temperamental again. Um, I think his back teeth are coming through because there was a lot of like pulling at his ears and like touching this bit of his face um, and I'd left the Nurofen in my parents fridge um, but luckily they have a shop on site so I picked some up um, and just gave it to him so he'd had cow pole already um, and I made sure it was the two hour gap and everything so he'd had cow pole already so I could give him Nurofen which I did he might be able to have some cow pole again soon so hopefully we can just combat it with that um, and then he did have a slight little fall bless him um, he was just running too fast and lost his footing and he's knocked um, he knocked his lip and um, it was bleeding and that did scare him a little bit but I think he's okay I'm gonna check it again when um, when he gets back and we get back inside but it can't have hurt too much because he had a snack afterwards well not straight afterwards but he had a snack about 10 minutes after so it shouldn't be hurting him too much but I'm just going to double check it and just check everything's all right and I don't think it's still bleeding or anything um but yeah I just want to check you know motherly motherly thing you just want to check that he's all all right um I'm just trying to think what else I've got to tell you on the way back I called the doctors about Oxy's eye if you follow me on Instagram you'll know he's like since he's been born we obviously a week after he was born we had to go back into hospital because he had something wrong with his eye and as far as we're aware it's like a blocked tear duct but it's just not shifting like he's constantly got a gunky eye and it's just horrible and like his eye was like red raw last night and i just said like right that's enough i'm gonna call the doctors again see what they say ultimately i think they're gonna say Apple. um i think it's gonna take swabs but those eye drops aren't working so i'm gonna ask for the cream instead um, but then half of me is debating depending on when I get the appointment I've had the link come through um, oh yeah they want me to do an e-consult before they give me an appointment so let's be honest that's not going to be like till Friday so yes I might I'm debating, it sounds dramatic, I am debating whether to take him to A&E, but at, at A&E they triage. So you have one reception, you tell them what's wrong and they either send you to A&E, like kids A&E obviously, or if it's you, normal A&E. Or um, they send you through to like um, the urgent care centre, which is obviously for like less serious things. And I think that's probably what they would do. So I am debating that when... Um, Adam's parents have Tommy tomorrow whether I just drive him there and see what they say because ultimately if I don't know part of me just thinks ultimately if we're getting an eye referral back to the doctor which is probably what's going to happen we're just sort of wasting precious time really um I'd rather just go through A&E or like the urgent care centre and they refer him because he can't keep going like this, it's, it's not nice. You know, he's constantly got like yellow gunk coming out of his eye. It just gets better, sometimes it's fine and then other weeks it's like this and you know, you just you, he can't live like that, it's just not fair. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see, see what happens, I'll let you know because I've still got one more day in this vlog so... Um, I'll let you know tomorrow um, but yeah I'm gonna go in to my parents pack up my stuff or get my stuff together um, and head off in the next hour or so to get Tommy back for dinner and Adam to come back from work um, so yeah and I'm gonna go and fill in this e-consult so it can be triaged 
and reviewed and hopefully I can get an appointment for him very soon. Um, I know I seem a bit up, I'm so tired. Like yesterday was such a long day. I was so exhausted and today I've just, I'm exhausted. But I'm, I'm not moaning, you know, it's two kids, this is what life is, but yeah, it's just caught up with me the last few days and I'm just, think I'm a little bit like overstimulated as well. So it's constantly like going on in my brain. Like, and I've got so much to do, I've got to pack for a holiday and yeah, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, fun, fun, fun. But yeah, there's just no rest for the wicked. But that is two kids, I'm not moaning. I'm just saying I'm a little bit tired. My body is aching. Um, and yeah, I'm just a little bit parentally overly stimulated. And there's a to-do list in my head that's just getting longer and longer by the second. So yeah, rather than sit and waffle that onto you, I'm gonna go in. Do this e-consult, order the bits I need to order because there's a couple of bits I need to order and yeah, just get on with shit really. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go. You can tell because I'm like going back into my own head. So yeah, I'm going to go in, I'm going to take Oxley in. He's not due for a feed until six o'clock so that's fine. So yeah. I will catch up with you guys either later tonight or tomorrow when I decide what I'm doing about his eye. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys soon. Bye.